Welcome, Army fans. This is Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with sophomore Army quarterback, Kale Hellams. Kale, uh, heard you had a very good scrimmage on Saturday. Coach Munkin was talking about you when I asked about the quarterbacks. What do you think you did well on Saturday? Yeah, um, so Saturday, I thought I think the whole offense did well. I think the O-line played really well. I think the slot backs and the White House played really well. Um, I think I just managed the game well. Um, you know, I, didn't, I came in there. I didn't force anything. I didn't turn the ball over. I was able to move the chains. And with the help of my guys, that we were just able to stay on track and uh, execute our fundamentals in our plays. So, you know, as a as a yearling, as a sophomore, obviously younger in the program, uh, kind of working your way up the depth chart, getting familiar with the offense, a lot of things going on, um, you know, just completed your plea bureau at West Point, which is a, a, an accomplishment in and of itself. Um, what are kind of some of the things in your game personally that you're working on with Coach Worley uh, to get you ready if your number's called this season? Yeah, um, just to work on my fundamentals and my footwork, you know, with the triple, um, the footwork is key. It, um helps fool the defense. It helps execute pitches and meshes. Um, that's my biggest thing right now, you know. Um, I think I'm talented enough. It's just when it comes to the fundamentals of the triple and being under center, that's what my big main focus is on right now. And when you were at the prep school two years ago, did you mostly run triple that year or was it more gun option kind of stuff? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we ran uh, the same offense. It was just dumbed down. We didn't have as much in, but we ran the base, the base stuff. Yes, sir. Good stuff. And how about high school? Do you have any any experience running triple from high school at all, or was it pretty much spread offense? Just spread offense. Uh, when I got to the prep school, that was my first time I ever had to go take a snap under center. So we were just uh, – we'd go empty a lot, spread, have pistol back, um, just try to uh, weaken the box and run a lot of RPO. And talk about the quarterback room a little bit. You know, you've got um, firsty Bryson Daly, team captain, to learn from, who's got a ton of experience in this offense. What have you learned from Bryson and some of the other upperclassmen that are helping you uh, so far in this preseason? Yeah, Bryson and De Bryson Daly and Dwayne Coleman, those are awesome guys. Those are great uh, friends and teammates of mine. Um, both of them have a lot more experience than I do under the triple, so they help me. Um, they coach me up. Bryson's really good on when he's not – getting reps or um, in a play, he'll watch my fundamentals and my footwork and tell me what I if I did something good or something bad. And I've learned a lot from him. Um, he's a great guy. He's a great leader. He's a great team captain. Um, and his mentoring and his uh, coaching has, I think, progressed me a lot from where I was in the spring to where I am now in the fall. And Coach Munkin specifically, when I talked to him Saturday, mentioned your ability to kind of throw the rock around the field a little bit. It's obviously something you were more familiar with in high school. You threw for over 8,000 yards. Uh, how do you think that added dimension to your game kind of will help keep defenses off balance a little bit if you're thrown in? You know, everybody who plays Army puts nine, ten guys in the box, especially this year with us going back to under center option. I'm sure they're going to load the box. What do you think your passing ability will be able to do for the offense, knowing that we're still going to be run first, I guess? Yeah, but um, yeah, I think it, it makes the defense, you know, have second, you know, second, uh, second uh, chances in their head. You know, I think it makes them question – what we are going to do, you know, if we are third and third and six, are we going to throw it? Are we going to run it and get down to fourth and one? You know, I think it puts the defense on their heels. Um, we'll get a lot of one on one matchups and that's something we like and we can attack. And I just have to give my guys a chance. You have a lot of weapons. The, the Army offense has a lot of weapons this year. Um, I think people are really excited about the potential of this offense and what it can do under Coach Worley, um, you know, from guys like Kanye Udo, who's a legitimate D1, P4 quality level running back. Guys like Jake Rendina, who's just a bull. I'm, you know, I've started to nickname him Jacoby 2.0 a little bit. Um, we've got uh, Hayden Reed, who's got a lot of skill set. Tyrell Robinson. Um, what's it like being in an offense, especially at Army, where maybe we haven't been used to that level of talent and depth? What's it like having that level of talent at the skill positions around you? It's awesome. It takes a huge load off your shoulders as the quarterback. You know, um, when your job is just to get in there and to execute and be able to give the ball to the players, the elite players in space, it makes your job 10 times easier. You know, we have weapons all around and um, those are great teammates and great players and they're great kids. And um, just being able to have so much weapons, it makes it easy on me, Bryson and Dwayne when we when our numbers called to play.
And, um, you know, kind of same thing. The offensive line is really deep this year as well. A lot of returning experience, Brady Small, preseason all-conference honors, um, and guys like Lucas Scott and, uh, you know, just heard that uh, Connor Finucane is going to be back and Booby Law. Um, talk a little bit about the offensive line. I know you mentioned they had a great scrimmage on Saturday, so talk about what they do for you as a quarterback. Yeah, they've done they've done great. You know, this whole fall camp, they've been awesome. Um, if it's our run game, they're great. If it's pass game, they're awesome. They're picking up blitzes really well. Um, and we are deep, you know. I think the ones and the twos both have really, really good players. And um, they're physical. They're experienced. You know, they have great fundamentals. They're well coached. They know what to do on every play. They uh, mess up very rarely. And it's we are we are strong up front. They're awesome. Good. And, you know, I know one of the major kind of not really concerns, points of emphasis for all Army skilled players, but especially the quarterback is ball security. Um, how would you rate yourself so far, maybe on a scale of one to 10, this fall camp on ball security and, and protecting the football? You know, I'd give myself maybe a seven. Um, we've turned the ball over rarely and the ball's not been on the ground much, but there's a lot of times where uh, I'll get up in the open field and, my ball security will get loose and coach Worley will emphasize to keep my elbow tapped onto my ribs and to keep it tucked away. Um, I have a lot of growing. I can still do, you know, I got a lot to work on, but um, just listen to coach Worley. I'll be in a good spot. And the army offense is kind of in a unique position this year for the first time where, especially the quarterbacks, you guys, your position coach, coach Worley is also the offensive coordinator. Um What's that like? And is there is there an advantage to that type of system for the quarterbacks uh, where the QB coach is also the OC and the play caller? Yeah, um, I think it's a huge advantage and I love it. You know, Coach Worley, he's a great guy. I love him as a coach. I love him as a person. But I think it, I think it's a huge advantage, you know, because um, the quarterback is the OC on the field when he's not when the when, the, when we're in a game and the uh, office coordinator is not able to be on the field. So I think we are able to be like one step ahead. Um, at the quarterback room, you know, because Coach Worley is the shot caller. He knows what we want to install on a daily basis. So having him, the OC, be our position coach is, I think it's awesome. You know, it helps us succeed and it helps us be able to relay relay the message to the, um, to the other position groups. Great. And have you guys been practicing much with the new helmet mic capabilities? Yeah, um, we're doing both. We do about 50-50, you know. Um, I think we have an advantage when we do signal, and then we also have an advantage the way we are in the helmet with the um, with the speaker. But um, yeah, we've been we've been working on it, we've been practicing. Um, I enjoy it. I like doing both, um, and I think it's going to be it's going to be unique, and I think it's going to be able to benefit us when it, when we need to use it. Cool. And last question for you. You know, now that plebe year is over, you did your your summer training at Buckner and uh, headed back with the football team. Is it a little bit of um, mental or emotional freedom, a little bit of a load off your shoulders now that plebe year's over? I mean, you know, I know personally all four years at West Point provide their own unique special challenges, but, um, you know, do you feel like you can kind of focus a little more on football or be a little less stressed or a little freer now that plebe year's over? Yeah, 100%. You know, um, I think going into the, the academic year, starting up here on next Monday, I'm a lot more confident. Um, I know what to expect, you know, uh, going to the prep school and then doing the plebe year, uh, learn to time manage. Um, that's a huge indicator to success here at West Point. And um, I just feel going in my yuck year, I'm a whole lot more confident than I was going to my plebe year. And I'm excited. I'm excited for school to start. I'm excited for the season to begin on the 30th. And I look forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Kale. Really appreciate it. Best of success to you the rest of the way here in fall camp as we get ready for Lehigh opening night kickoff August 30th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Army fans, make sure you get off work early on Friday to catch the kickoff for that game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This has been Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com along with sophomore quarterback Kale Helms. Go Army!